So, one of my PhD supervisors has asked me to look at Jupiter because they thought it might be useful for me. I've been doing a lot of data mining uh, and I found it hard to share the stuff I've done with other people. And they, they thought this might be an approach, so I've spent about an hour looking at it. Uh, and I thought I'd just record very quickly how to install it and get started because it might be useful for me in the future or it might be useful for other people. So you just search for Jupyter and go to jupyter.org click install and there is three different ways it says here to install it well the first way it says is a prerequisite something you have to do which is install Python so I've not, I don't think you actually have to do this and I'll explain why go to the command prompt if you're on Windows type Python uh, dash V and I'll tell you what version is installed and so here it says for me the Anaconda version is installed and that's because if you install it with Anaconda, Anaconda, it actually installs Python with you and you for you, uh, and you get an option to use the version that's installed. So I don't, I had, I did install Python, <laughs> but I don't think you actually need to. So if you, uh, if nothing comes up when you type Python v, you shouldn't worry if you're going to use this version here to install it. If you want to install it using pip, which is probably for more advanced Python users, uh, then you do need to have uh, Python installed. But I think you can just click this button, download the installer for your version, uh, and so you'll have a choice whether you want Python 3.5 or Python 2.7. Um, so if this doesn't mean anything to you, then I think the recommendation is to get 3.5. Uh, that's newer than 2.7 obviously, but 2.7 is around for kind of legacy purposes. It's still it's still maintained, but there will, from what I understand, they'll be stopping maintaining that at some point. So if you know you need 2.7, then get 2.7. If you don't know, you probably want 3.5. That's as far as I understood uh, understood it. So you want to download this. Uh, I'm not going to because I already have. Uh, and then just run the installer. It's about 350 megabytes. Uh, you can install it. Uh, just to you. Or all users, whatever. Pick a location. Now I'm not going to do it because I've already installed it. But So it's the next screen that will say after this, uh, do you want to use the Python version that's been installed? Uh, and that means uh, it kind of adds it, adds it to your path, I think, which means any program um, that uses Python will use this version that's installed. If you're like me and you, you know, you probably are if you've followed the tutorial, if you want to quit, yes, then you just use the Python, the, the one that's installed with it. Uh, if you're more advanced, then you'll know what you're doing. <laughs> so uh, you're probably using the pip install. So once it's installed, if you go to all programs, uh, go to Anaconda. To start Jupyter, you just click the Jupyter Notebook. And then what this does, uh, let's close some of these. What this does is runs a service on your local machine. Uh, and then it'll open in the browser like you've just seen uh, Jupyter. And so what you see here is by default this seems to show your documents. So in uh, Windows Explorer, you usually have documents, and this, you know, user slash documents, this location um, will be shown here. So what I did is I created a new space, new folder, uh, and it seems to do it, but not um, kind of show you that it's done it. <laughs> so down here somewhere there'll be untitled folder. So then I, I tick that and just renamed it to something like uh, Python work. Ah, you can call it whatever you want. Um, and then mm. Python work, there we go. And so now I'm going to start creating all my notebooks in here. So new notebook. So at the moment there's only Python installed. Uh, I think you can have other notebooks with things like R 
uh, I think you need to install the module separately, I'll look into that later. So at the moment I'm just going to create a Python notebook. And so what you have here now is all bits of code and comments and stuff uh, that you can share. So what I'm going to do is write a heading, uh, which is this is a Reddit scraper. That's fine. And then uh, I want to create a new cell, and this one's going to be code. Uh, and I'm going to create a bot that reads Reddit um, comments. So I'm going I'm in here. I'm just typing pop pip install parw which is the uh, oh it's already installed which is the library used to um, scrape credit so that's probably a bit small to read for here but it says pip pip space install space praw and now I can import that into this workbook so that says import praw and now I'm going to create a new cell that does does a bit of code so you can run these cells separately so if I click that button there it'll just run that cell and if I click this button there it'll run that cell so that's kind of a nice way to separate your code and go back and forth and run it's a, you know if you use R things like that you might be used to well if you use R Studio you might be used to doing things like that just kind of stepping through and going back and doing different bits uh, and now I'm just going to copy some code that I wrote before very quick, which I actually mostly borrowed from um, the PRA, whatever P R A W, whatever you call it, a documentation that just goes for a Reddit post and gets the comments. Uh, so I'll just get the latest, whatever. No, that's no good. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, Titanfall 2 comments. There we go. Uh, so there we go. I've got the ID of the post. I'll put it in there. Press run, and it didn't work because I didn't copy the whole thing. Still didn't work. Probably not defined. Ah, it's because I've not run this first one. See, so you do have to import the library first, and then do it. There we go. And then uh, it's just print. So this little bit of code, basically, uh, just uh, gets all the comments, flattens them because they're only in a tree structure, and then for each comment, just print the body. And so these are the the comments on that Reddit post. And so now, if I go back, if I save this. Uh, let's change it to Reddit Scraper. So I've just changed the name by clicking up here and typing it in. Uh, and then I think it automatically saves. Is that right? No, there's a save button there. Uh, so now if I go back to Jupyter, go back to my directory, which was called Python something. It's not good when you forget Python work. I've got this notebook which has code in to uh, import the library and then grab the comments and then display the comments and so you can, I can share this with other people and they can see what I've been doing, can see what printed when I have printed them, they can rerun bits on their own machine. Uh, and so there are extra things you can do, uh, markdown cells, all, all kind of extra bits. So I really need to get my head into this, but that was very quickly uh, how to get started with Jupyter uh, using the um, Anaconda installer. So Anaconda is a, from what I can gather, it's kind of a environment uh, that makes things simpler uh, to share, um, more agile, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so I'll go and have a play.